This is another video about uh, fan manual guide eye. Um, and I'm going to talk about fixed form uh, on this uh, video because it's a very very useful feature and it's not that difficult to use once you understand how it works and what you can do but it saves loads of time and it's also really good if you're a beginner programmer because it can input a lot of the code that you definitely need but you might not fully understand what it means at the moment but you know you need it but as you get into it you'll get more and more so you know what the code means anyway what you'll find in these fixed forms is um, you'll get these red question marks. You can see here um, where it says N there's a question mark. And what that means is that uh, when the form actually puts this information in for you, it gives you the option to change that particular thing. So if I go across to that N, if I wanted to make that N3, I could just put 3 and then uh, click Alter and it makes it into N3 and the same with that T number so what you can do on this I can put this back to a question mark if I want so I'm going to go shift and then question mark which is the Y then just alter it back to a question mark um, so you don't have to put question marks in I mean you can put anything you can just put a number in or a standard tool and then when you call these out just change them as you do them so what fixed form means is you save, for example, something to start your programs. You save something for each time you want a tool change. Um, and then all you do is, you know, you, you click on start to start your program. Then you get tool change and that's your first tool change and so on. But I'll be showing you this as we go along. But first of all, I'm going to show you how to actually make these fixed forms. And first of all, I'm going to create one called start. Now, if you look at settings, you'll see um, register fixed form. So I can go select to register a fixed form. And then it's asking me for new or alter or delete. So I'm going to say new. And in this line, I'll give it a name. And then this is everything that's going to go in there. So you just write this great big long line of code that then when you call this name, that's what you'll get in your program. Uh, all will be revealed here. I know it sounds a bit complicated at the minute. I'm just going to cancel that. But the easiest way to put that registered sentence in is to actually copy it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out of that for a while. I'm going to cancel that. And for example, if this is what I wanted to have at the beginning of my program, this G40, um, G80, G49, that, that wants to be the beginning of my program. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that so that it's actually on my clipboard. So I'm going to go down there like that. I'll include that ender block and I'll say copy. So that's now on my clipboard. And then I'm going to go to my uh, this uh, icon that says uh, setting. And I'm going to go select. Now you might already have a start one in or whatever because it could have come with a machine or whatever. Mine doesn't have it. Okay, so we're going to create a new form. We're going to call it start S T Shift A R T. I'm going to import that. And then I'm going to paste in that information and I'm going to say add. And that's added that, and you can see over there the resultant code. Okay, so that's added that in as a as a standard form. So if I go um, uh, back to menu and cancel that, and then what I can do, I'll just just to demonstrate. If I just put a few end of blocks here, so you can see it. Um, insert, yeah, and then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to my fixed form there. And there's my what I've written called start. I'm just going to press insert. And that's got it in there. Don't worry about what I've got in there. You can have whatever you want. Whatever, however you want to start your program, you do it that way. So I'm just going to delete that back out. It's got other stuff in here that I particularly want to use. So I'm going to go delete, delete, delete. Right up to here. That's up there. So this next bit... This is what I want to use every time I call a tool. So every time I call a tool, I'm going to have an end number there. I'm going to send the tool up in the air, do a tool change, 
then I'm going to wrap a G90, G0, G54 to a position, give it a speed, start the spindle, bring it down in Z, uh, and the H number to correspond with the T number, and an MA. So that's, every time I call a tool, that's what I want to be able to do. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm just going to put that on my clipboard. So I'm going to say, copy. So let's find my copy again. Where is it? There, yeah, copy. Cursor down. I want to include this last end of block, so I want to keep putting these um, these gaps in there, which is how I like to program. I'm going to go to setting again there, and I'm going to say select, and I'm going to say new, and I'm going to call this, um, we'll call it tool call, tool, T O O L C shift a l l import yeah that's gone in and now i'm going to paste that code there in there and i'm going to say add and now you'll see tool call let's just cursor down that's the start and that's tool call so that's what i'd get if i use that tool call so that's all ready to use now so i'm going to go back to menu cancel that now watch what happens now, let's just delete all this out so that we can see what how it comes in there. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say fix form and I can just go, um, I can just go insert, okay, and that's insert that, um, it says uh, imperfect word must be changed, I think that's just warning me that I've not done these, changed these end numbers. So all I need to do now is I'll say, well, this is tool six. And um, so I'm going to use N6. I'm going to use T6. And I'm also going to go to this and make it H6 while I remember. Alter. And then my first position I'm going to say is X50 point. And my Y is 50 point, alter, speed I'm going to go at 1500, alter, and another zero, alter. So now I've got uh, my start of my program, um, to, a spindle goes up in the air, does my tool change T6, M6? I'd put a comment in there telling it what that tool was. Uh, and then I'm going to G54 and a position starting my spindle. So that's everything I need. And every time I do a tool, I can just keep calling that in. A thing worth noting about these fixed forms is you've got these various tabs. So you've got form 1, form 2, form 3. So you can write on any of these tabs, but that first tab will appear... Uh, when you click that start button um, so I'll just show you I'll just add another one if I go to my uh, setting and say select so if I add another form onto here if I say new call it NG I just want to quickly get something in there NG and then just paste whatever there don't know what that's going to be and then I'm just going to say uh, add that so I've added now another form called NG. Now that form will appear, if I go back here, cancel, that form will appear on that start menu. So anything you put on that first tab, I don't want this, but uh, don't need to worry about that. So that's using fixed forms. I think you'll find that really useful. Saves loads of time. And make up a form for anything that you keep doing a lot of. You know, if you do thread milling, you could do one for thread milling so that it's got all those standard things in there. And you don't have to remember everything. And in the early days when you're learning to program, you can't think of everything that you need. And it's easy to make all these silly mistakes. But this keeps a nice even flow to your programming where everything is consistent.